Welcome, welcome. What is going on, people? It's me, T-Dub. We are here live in Converge Media Studios for the premiere of Art of the Matter, Episode 3, The Art of Nature, featuring, featuring Kevin Morales. I want to start by saying thank you guys for joining us. Thank you for being here. Thank you for tuning in to the art show for artists by artists hosted by yours truly. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful Monday evening here in Seattle, and we are super excited to bring you the third episode and our first episode from our Belize trip um, that we took this past November. Um, super excited to start getting into this footage, into this content with you guys. Um, the Converge team was gifted the trip of a lifetime, honestly, thanks to our fearless leader, Omari, we got the opportunity to travel to Belize to uh, experience the culture firsthand. Uh, we were the crew or part of the crew that was chosen to be a part of the inaugural flights um, provided by Alaska Airlines. And we got to take, again, the trip of a lifetime and go down to Belize. Obviously, me being the art queen, it was my duty and mission to connect with artists in the area and this episode three, we are featuring the first artist I got to connect with, again, Kevin Morales. So I'm super excited to get into this content with you guys. Um, we actually are uh, super grateful and happy that we actually get to talk to Kevin today. Um, he's streaming in live from his hometown, Bella Vista, Belize. We're going to talk to him in a little bit, but I wanted to just make sure we got an opportunity for everybody to get in the stream, get in the live, get set up, get your popcorn, get your drinks, get all that. And we're about to get into an amazing episode. Um, yeah. So at this point in time, I think we are going to take a break. And we're going to get Kevin in here to get some um, updates on what he's been up to down in Bella Vista, Belize. Um, again, you are watching Art of the Matter. In the depths of Belize, the travelers come across the waters, harvesting with their hands, learning of resilience rooted deep in the lands, culture thriving like a fire ablaze, sizzling with a pop and a chop, sharing its ways. Knowledge simmers and grinds into the hearts and minds, cutting away from the surface stories and colonial lies, boiling it down, breaking its shell as the truth pours out and gets plated collectively with love. Spooned into bowls, feeding the soul. Garifuna, alive and strong at Palmetto Grove. Welcome back to Art of the Matter, episode three, live premiere. It's me, T-Dub. I want to give a special shout out to my sis, Trey, on a holiday on that commercial because she did her thing with that verbiage. So shouts to you, Trey. Um, again, I was just reminded by our producer, Salman, that I got a couple more house, house cleaning notes to get to y'all. Um, make sure now that the purpose, now is the perfect time to like and share the stream. Make sure you let folks know what's going on in the art world from the artists, by the artists, and that is Art of the Matter. Um, and I was also reminded that we need to make sure that we get the top to bottom fit check. So let's go ahead and get to that, <laughs> you know, <laughs> a little something, something. Um, yes. So without further ado, we are actually going to take this opportunity to bring Kevin into the live stream all the way from Bella Vista. Kevin, how you doing, man? Hey, how are you doing, man? It's nice to meet you again. See you again. And um, I'm very happy to be back with you guys. Um, well, these days I've been very busy, like you always see on my page on Instagram, I was busy um, working on commissions, uh, taking pictures with Altitude FC, and um, I'm very grateful, Thank, thanks God to always be, you know, busy though. Absolutely. Appreciate you, man. And again, it was so awesome to be able to come to Bella Vista and meet you in person and see your art in person. So a little backstory. Actually, when we were planning the trip to Belize, obviously me being the art queen, it was my job and duty to find the artists. And so I went to YouTube and I actually found Kevin's YouTube page and I was watching him paint and seeing him in process and seeing the things that he was creating. And I was just absolutely mind blown at the art and the work that he was doing. Um, and his obviously his focus, you'll see a little bit later in through the episode, is more on nature and the natural elements, obviously, of his incredibly beautiful, um, you know, 
home country of Belize. And so, Kevin, can you tell us a little bit about the painting that you're working on behind you right now? Uh, well, this one here is a commission I'm working on right now. It's a underwater scene. You can see two, two sea turtles with some corals. Well, um, I haven't finished it as yet. I still have some work to get done on it. Uh, some fishes and uh, try to finish some details on this one here. So this one here is for uh, one of my customers in Maya Beach, Placencia. Um, this is not the only one for them. I have a like, lot of uh, paintings for them. This is the third one I'm doing for them. And I still have a, like, a lot more to, to do for them. Beautiful. You were telling me a little bit before the uh, live stream that you have been working on this one for about four days. You probably yes, have about yes. two days of work to go, correct? Mm -hmm, exactly. Yeah. And you actually have people that collect your art now in, in Placencia, in Bella Vista, and the areas around the country. Do you have anything going outside of the country? Any pieces that are commissioned from outside? Um, right No. no. Uh, maybe until probably next two months, I'll be doing um two pieces that will one will be going to canada and the next one to to the us beautiful beautiful well i, I would hope and imagine that after this episode you'll begin a lot more commissions from this area for oh, sure. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> definitely um yeah it was super exciting to be able to connect with you down there um this episode the art of nature speaks to kevin's style his flow his process his just general ease, like again, like I, t I got to visit him basically at his home studio and it was just like the perfect vibe. And he's just in there, you know, making his art on, on the solo tip and just creating these incredibly beautiful things. So I was super grateful and fortunate to be able to meet Kevin and connect with Kevin. And now, you know, we're, we're, we're friends on Instagram. We like and share each other's things and he's making amazing stuff. And, you know, it's just great. So um, we will now take this opportunity to get into episode three. First of all, thank you for being here in the studio and welcome to Belize. Thank you for having us, man. We were super excited to meet you. You're and welcome. Get to know, you know, you as an artist, you as a person, get to know Belize through you, you know, through your art. It's the skill that you have. It's like really honestly a true, true talent to be able to create and recreate images in the way that you do. So I hope you know that you are, you're, you're good. You're great, thank you, thank okay? You. <laughs> um, what was life like for you before art? Because I know you just recently kind of started getting into, you know, more of the, uh, the painting stuff. So like you said, five years. So what, what were you doing before that? After I finished graduate in high school, uh, well, I was already doing portrait drawings in high school. Okay. But as I finished, I graduated, I, look for a job but I couldn't find so I met these two guys from Placencia and um, they are some they are paint, painters so they, they do a lot of uh, commissions and, and stuff murals and they saw I they saw me on Facebook that I was doing small drawings for for people they told me hey Kevin would you like to try do canvas painting and I was like, what? I I don't, this is my, my first time yeah. seeing the, 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 the canvas and the yeah. own brushes and stuff like that. Right. After work, I went to visit them and they showed me their paintings and they say, Kevin, you should try this. And um, you will make way more than what you're making on construction. Yeah. So I told them, okay, I, will, I would like to try it. And um, they gave me a set of brushes and paintings and paint, I mean. So, you know, you start in high school, you get the pencil drawings down, you meet these two gentlemen, they tell you, you have skill, you yeah, should probably yeah. think about, you know, transferring that skill to paintings. 
And so this is just five years that you've been developing your painting craft. Mm -hmm. And so, and I see here on the walls that you have some paintings from, I see 2017. Mm -hmm. And then we have, you know, stuff that you've done more recently and you see the progression of yeah. your skills and it's fantastic. I need you to know that. It's yeah. really great. Thank you. Thank you. This one is a mix of, of, of two images. The skies is from one and the, you know, the, the mountains is from a different one. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put in more, um, more yellow into this because this is where the sun is sitting, this side of the mountain, you know. Yeah. On this side, I won't, I won't, I won't make it bright because this is, the opposite side of it, you know. The, That's interesting too because you're working with focus and light. Uh huh. You know? Exactly. Yeah. In my village, there are someone, but I see one here that he's really, he's really pushing into it. Like he's, he he wants to do the same as me and. I am right now trying to help him because um like how how I started the way I mean the way how I started I didn't have no no one to hey to say okay Kevin here is a set of paint and, and brushes so I'm doing trying to do the same with him. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Take him under your wing. Here in Belize we have a lot of talent, a lot of kids that you know you that they they, they really wanna do it but they don't have that um that support you know um we don't have um art lessons they don't they don't teach that here in school yeah. so you have to find it on your own and you have to deal with it on your own mm -hmm. so that is something i, I want to really put put in to try to do in the future yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm getting to like meet an artist at their, you know, mm -hmm. their blossoming point because it's like again, you've been you've only been doing it five years. You're 25 years old. Mm -hmm. Like the sky is the limit, mm -hmm. you know. So what? Like, I'll ask again. Like, where where do you see your art going? Like in the future. Um. Which What's your hope for Kevin Morales, the artist? Well, I want to do exhibitions outside like in the United States or Canada yeah. or um, maybe in Europe too. They would definitely have to get you a show up in, up in Seattle sometime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they, would, they would love you. That would be great. <laughs> yeah, be very, very definitely. Good. Your shirt looks like um, this guy here, who he names again. Um, this artist, he mm -hmm. does this kind of art. Basquiat. Basquiat. That yeah. is, yeah, this is Basquiat. Basquiat. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I figured I'm doing an art show. I gotta wear my art shirt. <laughs> Basquiat, yes. Yeah. You work mostly on 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 shoes and, and... Yeah, I do a little bit of everything, honestly. Okay. Yeah. I do sneakers. I mean I'll I'll paint anything, basically. Yeah. Any 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 surface, but Usually it's it's never a canvas. Yeah, I haven't oh. done I haven't done any canvas work. Oh, yeah, okay, my canvases okay. are always like a shoe or a jacket or a hat or a shirt. You mm -hmm. know, like that's that's kind of like oh, nice, what nice, I work nice. on. Mm -hmm. um, and then of course doing the murals. So I do murals kind of all over the city, of Seattle. Mm -hmm. And um, I also do graphic design. Oh, nice. So nice, logos nice. and things like that, digital stuff. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just trying to keep it. You know. Keep it open. Do you have any artists that you that you admire that you look up to? Um, yes, I have one. He, he, his name is uh, Mike Dargas. Mike Dargas. Yeah. Okay. He does. Um, he do mostly um, portraits. You know, okay. With um, honey, you know, like. Oh, the drips. Uh -huh, the drips. Oh, is, is it like fun. is it like realism? Uh huh. Yeah, exactly, I think exactly. I've seen his work before. And um, I would like to try that though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even though I I see it like it's something harder to me and that's the way I'll, you know. Yeah. But I think if I do it, I think I can. If I put in a lot of time and practice, yeah, I think I can make it. You definitely can. 
I mean, if you can do what you can do this in five years, yeah, yeah. you can do anything. <laughs> I'm a girlfriend. Yeah. So I speak girlfriend. I work with my mother at the farm. Dig up cassava, plant the cassava, chop the farm, clean up the farm, and everything like that. But I'm still painting, you know. In the, in the morning, I go to the farm, and by the time 10 o'clock, I'll be back home every day. Every day. Sunday, Monday, every day. You see, art, the art passes through my, my veins and my blood and everything, and I feel like, yeah, it's, it's art that got to come out. It's got to come out. It's got to come out. But art is my life. Art is my life. And there you have it, folks. Episode three, Art of the Matter, featuring Kevin Morales. Man, every time I see any footage from Belize, it immediately like takes me back to that place. And it was just so beautiful to be able to connect in the ways that we did. So, Kevin, like now that you've seen the episode, this is your first time seeing it. Like, how do you feel? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, seems seems like I was very nervous in that conversation, though. <laughs> well, I guess. <laughs> Well, I think it's because it's not only in, in Belize, you know, but in the, the yeah. entire world is, is is seeing this. So, but I I really like it though. It was very good. It was very good. I'm I'm happy I'm happy about it though. Beautiful. I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah, yeah. I, I wanted to make sure I got some of those moments where you were a little bit more chilled and laid back in there too, because oh. you know, obviously, it's like it's it's a bit of a new occurrence for you, right? Doing the interviews and stuff like this is this kind of new for you? Uh, no, I did two before. But um, okay. it was uh, it was it was two interviews for um, for the Belize News, mm -hmm. and um, I just did one. But it was like a speech. They invited me for a high school for a career day, and um, well, I I was a bit nervous, but yeah, it ended up good though. End of the day, yeah. it did end up good. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. And so you said you did a speaking engagement at a high school. That's really awesome because uh, I know yes in our. In our conversation, you kind of talk about, you know, how you when you were coming up, you did the you did the pencil drawings in high school and then you kind of got brought into the painting. But you were kind of speaking to the fact that, you know, nobody really like taught you what you do. You're very much like a self-taught artist. So to be able to exactly. go back to a high school and kind of talk to students about your career, your journey. How did that feel? How was that for you? Um, well, like I said, the first time was very hard, though, but right now I'm really enjoying it. And I'm happy I'm doing it. I'm doing good, though. Yes, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yeah. So what's what what else is going on with you nowadays in Belize? Like what like what um, is like art like for you right now? Well, I was getting ready for a art art exhibition in, in Placencia in the Tipsy Strip, but it was postponed because, you know, of COVID. And um, mm. so I think those. Uh, yeah, this this two. These two paintings I have here at the back, these were, were um, I was to have them ready. And um, those ones were for the art, art festival. But um, I, I got back to this one here because this one is a commission though. Awesome, awesome. So it sounds it sounds like COVID is still still you know pretty prevalent down where you're at and kind of you know putting the monkey wrench in some things, but you're still yeah, able exactly. to create on a pretty steady mm -hmm. basis though. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Um, Salman, do we have any questions in the chat? Nope. Okay. Um, yeah. So, Kevin, I wanted to ask you, like, you know, since the last, we saw you in November, right? Since then, like, has there any been any sort of changes in the kind of the things that you talked about in the episode regarding, like, art supplies or your ability to get supplies? Like, I know you had kind of mentioned, like, it's a little difficult sometimes because there's no art stores down there for you guys. So is there anything, like, in that regard that's kind of changing for you at all? Um, no. Like, well, I, like I said before, um, I have someone who brings uh, the, the supplies from states, though. And um, yeah. yeah, right now I'm, I'm I'm good right now. I'm 
I just got one today, some canvas, some some brushes and some paint. So I'm 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 good at it. Awesome. That's good to hear. You're all set mm -hmm. and ready to go. You can keep creating the beautiful art that you do. Um, yeah, I think it's been it's been really great, obviously, connecting with you once again. And I do want to say and take this opportunity to give a super huge shout out to Alaska Airlines and the Belize Tourism Board and Ministry of Tourism there in Belize for making that trip for us possible. And we couldn't have done it without you guys, obviously. So I want to take this opportunity to say thank you, thank you, thank you once again. Super life changing experience. And I just wanted to make sure I got that in there before I forgot. Um, yeah. So, Kevin, do you have any questions for me? <laughs> uh no 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 it's okay i would just like to say something before we um yeah i would like to say thank you for giving me the opportunity to be featured it's an honor not only for me but for belizeans as well i am i am only part of the bigger picture which is belize we have a lot of raw natural talent and i am happy to be at the front at the forefront of getting belize on the map Wow, that's really beautiful. Thank you so much for that, for that amazing message. And it's so yeah. true. Like I think the whole point of us coming coming there and for me personally, and I'm sure I can speak for the coverage team as well, connecting with you and being able to make these like real, hopefully long lasting connections, you know, with our like-minded individuals across all borders, you know what I mean? And creating the network that's gonna be, you know, sustainable and viable for art, for community, for the future, you know what I mean? So I'm super grateful that we were able to connect. Hope we stay connected. We're definitely exactly. we're getting you. We're getting you to Seattle. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna say it right now. I'm gonna yeah, make yeah. that happen. You we, know what we, I mean? Yeah, we have to do that mural though. We gotta have a mural up there. Yes, yes. So you got you guys heard it here. We're me and Kevin is working on some stuff. So exactly. <laughs> definitely. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah beautiful. Definitely. Beautiful. Well, thank you again so much, Kevin, for joining us. Thank you too. All right. Wait, hold on one second. Actually, we actually got some questions. We got some questions okay, in the chat. Okay, 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 yeah, yeah. Okay, Kevin, a question for you from um, one of our viewers is, what is your favorite piece? My favorite piece, is, uh, do they mean one that I have done before? Yes, one that I, well, uh, I'm going to say one that you made, yeah. It was an ocelot I did, though. I think I have a picture here that I think I'll show it to you guys. Um, yeah, you get it. This is a uh, an ocelot I did in way back in 2000, 2007, 2018. Right now, twenty eighteen. Yeah, you guys. Kevin's only been painting for five years, so that's yeah, a huge deal. This one here. Oh wow! That's that's my favorite one though. It has a lot Dang. of details. Yeah, it's a very nice crystal. That is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely yeah. beautiful. That's From all the, all the people. Piece. Yeah, that is so cool. And like all the people that I showed, like that got to see the footage of this episode, that hummingbird. I think is their favorite because it was oh, just man. so incredible. And the way that you were able to have that hyper-focused detail on the bird with the blurred sort of background, it just really popped off of the yeah, screen, you know? Yeah, so yeah, everybody yeah. absolutely loved that bird. And we actually mm -hmm. got the opportunity to be in studio with you when the photographer came by and exactly. got to see your painting for the first time. So exactly. that was so cool. That was super cool. Yeah. Have you, have you uh, say connected with him since then? Uh, yes, yes. I have um, two more pictures to work on right now. He just went outside and took two very nice pictures. So probably when I'm, I'm done with these uh, commissions, I'll start on them. I'll be working on them. Beautiful. Man, the, the master of photorealism, Kevin Morales. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Awesome. Thank you again. Thank you again for joining us. Appreciate you, bro. Same for you. All right. 
Awesome. Yep. So yeah, that was it. Art of the Matter, episode three, The Art of Nature featuring Kevin Morales. I want to thank everybody who's able to tune in and join us for the live premiere. We're going to be doing these every other Monday as the episodes, you know, come into fruition. Um, as you saw at the, at the end of this past episode, episode four is going to be our second episode in Belize, and we are featuring the master himself, Mr. Pin Catano. And man, the day that we got to hang out with Pin was just absolutely fantastic. Him and his wife Ingrid have basically an artistic haven in uh, Dangriga, Belize. Um, and it's Studio Pen, Studio Cayetano. And we actually got to all go and visit him and play some drums and, you know, taste some wine and <laughs> play some music. It was just, it was just a really great day. And he's got a studio, he's got his gallery set up and you can just kind of go there and just kind of tour basically his artistic, you know, journey in, in this one space. And it's like, they got a school there and it's really, really awesome. So definitely looking forward to episode four. Again, that will be premiering not next Monday, but the Monday after, and I will be here to let you know all about it. So once again, thank you guys for joining us. I've been T-Dub and this has been the Art of the Matter. Till next time. I did it for the city, I did it for the love, I did it for the people, I did it for us. Back on this rap ish, I ain't even broke a sweat, homie, this practice. Pondering my next move, staring at my track list, hope I ain't miss my window. Praying like a Baptist, Seattle's own, tired of this game of thrones. They made a list of the best rappers, and guess who wasn't on? While the disrespect continues, I'm steady packing these venues. Converge Media produces culturally relevant content for Black and urban audiences. Our coverage is raw, transparent, and objective, praised by community leaders, government officials, and residents. Support Converge Media today via Venmo, Cash App, or PayPal at Converge Media.